Hello everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining me. We have been discussing in our last few sessions some photography terms and we were trying to make sense of all that photography jargon. Tonight we're going to talk about three of the terms that we have talked about. Uh, ISO, shutter speed, and, and aperture as it relates to the exposure triangle. So what is the exposure triangle? It is a way of associating these three variables, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, to determine the exposure of a photograph. As photographers, we must balance all three of these to achieve that remarkable standout image. Knowing that an adjustment in one of these areas requires an adjustment in at least one of the others. They do not only affect exposure, but also the largest determinants of the global appearance of the image. So what is it going to look like when it comes out of the camera? And are we going to have to make any adjustments to it in our um, software program? And so we want to get that standout image without having to make too many adjustments. So we want to get it looking good straight out of the camera, one of our terms that we talked about. So let's look at the exposure triangle. So this is what it looks like. Aperture or f-stop, shutter speed, exposure time, ISO, light sensitivity. And so, when, <clears throat> as we talked about before, the exposure is the most important aspect of every photograph. And what is that most important aspect is light. Without light, there can be no photograph. So, we want to try to use light to our advantage. So the first thing we need to learn is to how to correctly expose the photograph. So exposure is simply a term used to describe the brightness of the photograph. When you press the shutter button on your camera, the sensor is exposed to light. Subsequently, it's recording the image and displaying it on your screen or when you take the card out, when you look at it in your computer or on your tablet. And we know sometimes things can go, go wrong. Have you ever taken that photograph and it turned out completely all blown out or too much light or way too dark, not enough light? That's simply a case of something that has gone wrong during the exposure. There are only three things that can go wrong here. Shutter speed, exposure time, aperture, the lens opening, the ISO, light sensitivity. So, and those three things are what we refer to as the exposure triangle. So the first element we're gonna talk about is shutter speed. And shutter speed is the measure of how long the shutter remains open and thus how long the sensor is exposed to light. So, and it's, ex and it's uh, measured in seconds. And so the lower the number, the more blur you're gonna get in the image. And the higher the number, the, the more you're gonna, you can freeze an image. So if someone's running, you can freeze the action. And so, again, faster shutter speeds give the sensor less time to collect light. And sometimes that can result in a lower exposure or a darker image. Slower sh shutter speeds allow more time for light to hit the sensor and collect light and result in a higher exposure. So that's one element of the exposure triangle. The next element is aperture and all camera lenses have an aperture inside them which is the small opening that directs light towards the sensor on most cameras 
the aperture can be made wider or narrower, therefore altering the amount of light passing through and affecting the final brightness. And so, again, that's expressed in f-stop. And f1.4 all the way up to f32. And so, depending on what type of camera is, how low that f-stop can go. The next uh, part of our exposure, the third side, is ISO, or light sensitivity. It's, it's a term that dates back to the film days of photography, when it was used to uh, describe a film's sensitivity to light. Now it's used in similar circumstances on digital sensors, whereby adjusting the ISO changes how sensitive your sensor is to light hitting it. A higher ISO means more sensitivity, resulting in a brighter image. However, the higher the ISO, the more noise or grain you're introducing to the image. So do we give up some grain for the sake of a clearer image, or do we try to adjust the aperture or the shutter speed? And so we want to tie it all together. So again, if you adjust one of the three variables, then in order to keep the same brightness, we must change the one of the other three in an equal amount in the opposite direction. So again, change one of these variables alters the brightness of the final image. So if you find your image too dark, try changing one of these three things until it's correctly exposed. So I hope this helps and I will see you next time. And I want to thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we will continue this discussion with our exposure triangle and rule of thirds next time. Bye-bye.